we actually need to download three files. Uh, first is Vassal, second is a Vassal module, and third is Discord. Let's start with Vassal. Vassal is free software that allows you to play a game, uh, a board game that is, on a computer. So to get that you go to vassalengine.org um, and you go to the download screen and be careful then that you get the correct version because there are three versions for Windows hello and uh, and there's one one of those is for uh, the different type of processes you may have on your computer okay so once you've done that download and installed it the next thing you'll do is come back to this screen and you'll go across to the right here where it says modules and the module is the actual game itself it's been put there by a uh, by a, a voluntary effort um, and we're going to go to divine rights so that's d um, and that's divine rights and divine rights has uh, different versions of the board game because it's quite an old game and it's brilliant um, and the game the one i want to use is for the for the first edition games is 3.2.3.1 so we, we download that and then we start Vassal so um, the thing is um, the modules don't appear automatically in your Vassal screen you have to add them so although it only shows on my screen because I've previously added them for what you have to do is go to the file menu and choose open module and then choose the mod and it will then appear in this in this list after that okay so let's start up the module And when it starts up, it always comes to this screen, which gives you the option of starting a game offline, look for a game online, and look for a saved game. So we're going to be playing online with other players, so we choose look for a game online, and we click on finish. And what we've got here, other than the right-hand side, is it lists... Um, all the games that are currently running um, and there'll probably be one there called something like Etincon um, and you just uh, click into that room put your name there and you're away basically and uh, on the um, screen there are a few they, they, we then use these buttons here like there's a dice rolling button um, yeah you can roll dice and there's a charts button which um, shows you various aspects of the rules uh, there's a battles button uh, but we can go through that when we play the game So once you've got all that set up, we can then go to the Discord. It it might actually be better, because Discord takes a, a while to load to um, go to Discord, but let's go to Discord. So we, we just go to, you know, type download Discord into your browser. Um, so you can run Discord from your web page or from a, an app, and it's best to do, do it from the app. Um, so we download the Discord app. Wait, let's go to Discord. 
Um, so Discord is a very confusing piece of software. So the best thing to do with Discord is um, the best thing to do with Discord is to get an an invite from somebody and uh, use that to get into it. Um, trying to find your way around all this stuff is is a nightmare, really. For me, it is anyway. Um, so down the side here, you'll have all these various channels, and one of them should be like an uh, you know the the one for your game. So we've cho chosen the divine right one, and then on that we have um, you'll see some of these which um, have the speaker sign next to them, and these are the um, these are the places. This is the what you use to talk to the other players. So in, all I do is click on it, and I get added to it, and you're in. You can then start talking to the other players. Okay, so that's the basic introduction. Of course, it's uh, getting around Discord is is. As I said, it's a bit, um, a bit funny at times, but uh, you'll get used to it. Uh, and if you do have the invite, that that's half half the trouble. Okay, thanks for watching.